Geotropism. This is the ability of a plant to recognize the effects of gravity on its growth. Plant roots grow down. This is a positive reaction as they travel down with gravity. The shoots and stems grow negatively in response to gravity, meaning they grow against the downward force of gravity. Testing Geotropism on Corn Plants To test the geotropism, we must isolate the variable being tested. We do not want light to be a factor, so the plants will be grown inside a cabinet. The seeds will also be arranged in a way that each seed is facing a different direction. This will eliminate the possibility that the roots and stems growth is due to the placement of the seed. Students begin this lab by taking a petri dish and placing five corn seeds in different positions. They'll place them like a clock with seeds in positions 12, 3, 6, and 9. They'll also place one in the center. This eliminates the possibility that the plant will grow in response to the position of seed placement. The next step is to actually create a way in which we can get the seeds to stay against the petri dish. One way of doing this is to take a paper towel or filter paper, trace around it so that you have the correct size to cut out for your petri dish. Once the shape has been traced out, simply take a pair of scissors and cut out the outside edge of the circle. This will fit perfectly on the back side of your seeds so that we can see the growth from the front side. Once you have your cut out piece of filter paper or paper towel, simply place it over your seeds and push it around to the edges so that it stays secure and also keeps the seeds secure to the front side of the petri dish. Now the seeds were soaked for 24 hours before placing them in a petri dish, but they'll need a constant supply of moisture as they begin to grow. So getting about 20 to 25 milliliters of water is necessary for this experiment. Once we have the appropriate amount of water, you simply just pour it out on top of the paper towel, allowing the paper towel or filter paper to absorb the water that we put in there. We're also going to back this up with some cotton to make sure everything stays in place and the moisture can be controlled. The cotton that we place now on the back side of the seeds behind the paper towel will do two things. The first thing it does is it helps control the amount of moisture being released to the seeds. It also allows us, once we have the back on, to press up against the seeds, causing the seeds to rest securely against the front of the petri dish. This prevents the seeds from moving as our experiment takes place. Okay, following placing the cotton balls, we simply place the back side of the petri dish onto the front. This will allow the petri dish to stay secure as it stays in a vertical position in the cabinet. Simply take scotch tape and tape it around the outside edge, keeping the front side and back side securely in place. Because there's many classes doing the same experiment, it's important that we know which experiment you put together. So taking a vis-a-vis -vis or something that will write on plastic, simply write your name and the date or your station number on the back side of the petri dish so it can be identified as we progress in the experiment. Petri dishes are now placed on the inside of a cabinet door by tape for a couple reasons. We don't want light to be a factor in their growth, so they will be grown in darkness. We also place them vertically so that they have room to grow upwards and downwards as we watch the development of their stems and roots to see if gravity truly does have an effect on the way that they grow. In just a few short days, we can already see the growth of the plants. We can already make out the roots as well as the stems. Four days later, there's much more growth going on with our corn plants. We see that regardless of the position of the seeds, the stems are growing up and the roots are going down. This proves that corn seeds do recognize the effects of gravity on their growth.